The Q8 is less aesthetically adventurous than its two primary competitors, the X6 and the GLE Coupe, but it is more handsome by some margin, too. It looks more like a sporty SUV than an oddity for the sake of oddness. The same could be said for the Q8's roomy, airy interior. Even the rear seat passengers will feel as if they have space to stretch out, with more than ample leg and headroom. Up front, thanks in large part to the two-screen infotainment system also seen in the new A6, i7, and A8, the interior is as sleek and uncluttered as a clean room. We're not yet entirely convinced two screens are better than one screen and a control knob, and we do sincerely miss the precise knobs and switches that once were the hallmark of an Audi interior. We'll need more time with the system to pass judgment on its menu logic, but we will say it responds to commands quite quickly. The vehicle itself doesn't feel exceptionally quick. But one caveat, Audi held its press launch in the Atacama Desert of northern Chile, and our route took us as high as 14,000 feet of elevation through the Andes Mountains. Considering the power-robbing effect of such thin air, performance is more than ample. We noted, however, a longish delay in the delivery of torque after you give it some beans.